Hey guys. Um, so today, this is gonna be a video I might actually post because I actually have content. Anyways, I bought a bunch of clothes and we're gonna do a haul. Trendy clothing haul. Like those vibes, you know. Um, so I got clothes from Goodwill and ASOS. Um, this is, both of these are from ASOS. I don't know if you can see the shorts. You probably can, hopefully. If not, I'll show them later. Um, but we're gonna start with what I got from Goodwill. So the first piece of clothing is this like extra long cardigan trench coat jacket thing. Um, looks like this. Um, I have no idea like how I would really style it um, or anything, but I just like thought it was like fun and it was like flowy and long. And I like don't have anything like this. It's kind of like a robe, but like slightly more elevated. But it's like from Boohoo. So, yeah. I was like, oh, I haven't seen that in Goodwill. Because normally you don't see any like newer, like trendy kind of like, like those brands. But also, and now we're not gonna we're not gonna say anything. It's from Goodwill. It's the only reason I bought it. Uh, but it is like really cute. It's like this green fuzzy jacket thing with like panels of like pleather or I don't even know what the material is. But it's like really cute. It is sadly from Do Not Support. Um, but the only reason I got it was because it was from Goodwill and it was literally $4 for like, it's also like thick material. And I thought it was just like really fun. The next item of clothing we have is this like oversized um button down it's green it's like kind of fun like it's not like solid green it like has a little pattern to it it's from gold label roundtree in york like you can wear it almost like in place of a jacket where a jacket would maybe be too warm or something like that and I just like, I also really liked this color green. I thought it was a nice color. And then I have this like kind of floral Hawaiian shirt type of thing. It's not really actually, it just like kind of has like two flowers on it. I also thought the inside was cool. I've never really seen like many shirts with like different patterns on the inside. It's not reversible or anything, but. It's from Clybourne. And it just like is kind of like thin and flowy and like summery. Next, I have, I got this little sweater vest thing. I thought it was kind of like fun. I don't know, that's about all. It's from Trust. I got it kind of too big and I don't really know how I feel about it. Um, and then I also got this other sweater vest, which I like much better and I also like the fit of much better, so I don't really know why I bought the other one. It's from Cypress Lynx, and it's like this, and it's just like fun, and I just like enjoy, I like how it's kind of like a gold and black. It's almost like the like my version of like the like Emma Chamberlain muscle tee that like all like the little Instagram girls have. I was just like, it could be cute, you know? Um, and then the last top that I got from Goodwill was just like, it's just a Fruit of the Loom 
crew neck. It's like teal or like aqua. So yeah. Um, and then I got two pairs of pants which I really like both of them. I really like these. These are really fun. They're like, kind of look like something like a sailor would wear. And they're like already like pre-cuffed at the bottom. And I like how they look cuffed. They're from Tommy Hilfiger. Oh, they are? I didn't, I literally didn't know that. Anyways, they're, so those are cute. And then I also got these corduroy pants from, they're from Polo by Ralph Lauren. Um, which I actually have, I think the exact same thing. Oh no, these aren't, these are from Abercrombie. I bought these a while ago also from Goodwill, but I have a very similar pant, but in this more like darker, cool brown, whereas those are like a warmer, um, more caramel brown. So yeah, that was all from Goodwill. And then now we're going to get into the ASOS clothes. So I got mostly tops from ASOS and then I got two pairs of shorts. One of them being these tan terry cloth ones. Um, I actually got them like kind of like a size too big. I got an extra large because um, I wasn't sure if they'd fit around my legs and hips the way I wanted them to because a lot of times like shorts are a little tighter even though they're like fine in the waist area. Um, but they're just like terry cloth. Um, but I'm actually gonna like DIY them because um, I have a little shoestring that I'm probably just gonna like use as a drawstring. I'm just gonna like because it's an elastic band, but the, the elastic is just, like, too big. Um, and then the other pair of shorts, I kind of regret buying these. Um, they're these shorts. I thought they were really cute on the website. And then they came, and they're, like, so long. So I think I'm going to keep them. I'm just going to, like, cut them, like, at least an inch off. Because, like, right now they, like go down to about here and it's really not flattering and not cute. And then I got this oversized t-shirt. It's like a wine colored. I like this a lot more than I actually thought I was because it's like, I don't know, it's like kind of like cut fun. And there's like this asymmetrical panel on the front. And it kind of reminds me of like this other shirt that I got from ASOS. I actually have it, hold on. I'm gonna show it, um, but it's like an athletic top. Hold on. It's this, oh wait, hold on. It's this and it's like, like, it has multiple panels and like the bottoms like not even with each other and like it's a different material and like this is kind of like the same thing as this is um and i really like that shirt so yeah um and then let's see the next thing i got i accidentally ordered two of these um but it's just a plain red oversized t-shirt I, I got quite a few just plain oversized t-shirts just because I, I like how they fit and they're just very comfortable to wear. So I got this like faded red one. I got a blue one, which I really like this color blue, by the way. It's a very nice like sky periwinkle almost. And then I also got the tie-dye one which like I know tie-dye is like kind of like not the thing anymore, but like this is like a cool fun tie-dye, I don't know. It was like different and I kind of liked it. So there's that. Um, and then now we have like the slightly more interesting pieces. This is also, it's like a, this is also like a little 
patchwork t-shirt. So like it has the outside like stitching and it has like waffle material and then like a really just regular like soft shirt and it's all like acid washed or bleached somehow. And I just thought it was like really cool. Um, and then the last t-shirt that I got was this one. I just like couldn't resist. Um, it's like, it's mesh. It feels like, um, it feels like the, like the jerseys that people, that like you would get in gym class to like separate the teams. It feels like that, but like it looks much nicer than those did. Um, and it's like a whole actual shirt. And I just thought it would be like fun. And I was like, I've never really seen a shirt that's like even like this color combination before. So it's gonna be interesting to see how I style that. Uh, and then I have two like jacket type of things. I don't even know if you call this a jacket. Uh, but the first one is like this woven cardigan. It's really thin and like quite stretchy, but it's like a, like the sleeves are really short. So like, it's like if I actually put the shoulder seam at my shoulder, it would be like a t-shirt length, but it's like cut really wide. So it almost goes all the way down to your wrists. And it's just like kind of meant to be like a little like flowy type of like summer pullover on like a day that you don't want anything else other than a t-shirt, but like just in case kind of thing. Um, I like it. It's also, if you like get up closer. Anyways, as I was saying, it's like different colors in the wee wovenness. Um, and there's like pink, blue, and white. It also has little pockets, so that's kind of fun. Um, it r gave me a lot of the same vibes as um, this cardigan that's also from ASOS that I just really love. Um, it's just like long, flowy, but this is really warm and I don't think that will be as warm. So yeah, and then the last thing I got, which I really like, is another um, button down. But this is a, like a button down that's like meant to be a jacket type of thing. So. Um, I don't like when I have these buttons because it feels so constricting because it's like hard to fit over my hands. So whenever I like wear a big button down, I always like to unbutton these. Oh my God. Um, but it's just like kind of big, kind of flowy. Um, like wear it more here, have like one shoulder off. Um, it's like the material is kind of weird because it like feels really nice at first and that, but then it's not double layered. Like there's only a single layer of fabric on the inside and it's the slightly less soft side, I guess. Um, but it gave me a lot of the same vibes as my Carhartt uh, flannel. This, I love this flannel so much. It's so thick. It's like such a perfect length for what I like love. Cause like, I don't know, I really like things that go down farther than their like, than like your shirt. So then it's like a little like offset moment. Um, but like this, I just like love this flannel. Um, and it almost feels, it feels like similar fabric at first, 
But then like that one, if you wear it longer, it's like a little less comfortable. I still like it. It's still comfortable enough for like me to wear it consistently. But like this one, I just love this one. But like that one's like black and white, so it goes with a little bit more. I got a necklace. And it's just like a little chain and it has a little lightning bolt on it. And I, there's like a necklace that I've seen people wear where it's like a chunkier chain. And then there's like little lightning bolt charms like this off of it. And I really want one of those, but I have no idea where to get it. Cause like I've searched kind of for it, but then I have never found it. Anyways, I'm rambling. Um, I don't know if you ever like really got to see the shorts that I'm wearing. I'm hoping you did. Maybe I'll DIY them on camera. Okay, so I am gonna DIY these. I'm gonna add a drawstring. So we have the pants, the shorts. And then I have paper clips, two different sizes, just in case. I have my shoelace and I have a pair of scissors. Um, so I'm gonna tags in the back. I'm gonna take this front part and I'm gonna cut two little slits, probably right about here with my scissors. Not good scissors. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, where? Okay. And then I'm gonna try the small paper clip first. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of guessing. So I think I'm just gonna like thread it like a you would a needle. And then I'm just gonna like push this paper clip through and hope it goes all the way through. Okay. And I'm just kind of like inching it through. Okay, so I got it past the back seam. Um, I don't really know how I did it. Um, but like, go me. Oh God. The shoelace is like starting to come out. It better not, I swear to God. closer we're getting closer why is this like so difficult I got it through to the other side we're gonna like pull it through and then stretch it out okay and then it's like kind of like too long but um once it's tied it shouldn't matter it like is it isn't long enough to like fall out of the bottom of the shorts so yeah, that was how to DIY your own drawstring and shorts that are too big for you. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications because the next time I post, you'll probably have forgotten about... <coughs> oh my god. Because the next time I post, you'll probably have forgotten about me because I probably won't post for six more months. Um, but, like, I want to post more, especially because it's, like, summer, and I don't actually have any excuses not to. It's just I literally don't do anything with my day. Um, and there's, like, I, there's nothing for me to vlog that I, like, do. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, like and subscribe. Um, maybe I'll be back soon. Maybe it'll be six more months. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's about it. Bye, guys.